I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching from the pew. In other words, I'm sitting where you sit and looking back at me, so I'm just expressing your thoughts and the thoughts of the saints. You know? Amen. <laughs> And I'm, 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 I'm secure enough that, that I can speak on both sides. Amen. So I'm arguing your point. Amen. Then later on, I argue mine. <laughs> All right. All right. So he says, even today, my complaint is contentious. God's hand is heavy despite my appeal and cry. Oh! That I knew where I might find him. Mm -hmm. That I might even come to his seat. So in other words, Job is saying, I'm going to have to figure out how to get God here. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I can't get to him. I done cried out. Mm -hmm. and, and so I, I'm trying to get to him. But I ain't having no success. So I'm going to have to make my appeal to get him to me. Mm -hmm. So I can present my case. Yes, and he so. does. Mm -hmm. So he said, if I knew where I might find him. Mm -hmm. And even that I may even come to his seat. I would present my case before him and fill my mouth with argument. How you gonna argue with God? <laughs> and look what he says. And I would learn the words which he would answer and understand. So, so Job is, is He's not bad here now. He's, he's trying to get explanation. And let's, let's talk real for a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may not say it with your mouth, but you do feel it in your heart. God, yeah. Yeah. where are you? Mm. How do you do this to me? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we feel that. Yes. He's just saying, if I could, if you could explain to me and give me some insight, because remember, we know this from the story, but at the time, Job didn't know that there was a situation going on between God and the devil concerning him. Yes. He didn't know that God really wanted to give him double blessing, yes. and he was going to use the devil as a proxy or decoy uh -huh. to bring a double blessing, yes. because God yes. so admired his dedication. Yes, yes. God says, I want to double your blessing. Yes. But you'll never turn it loose. Yes. So I'm allowing the enemy to take mm -hmm. in order that I may give double. Yes. But Job don't have the privilege of knowing that. Right. Yes. We do from the reading of the story. Yes. But he doesn't at the time that you're going through. He was going through. He didn't know that. He said, I just want to understand why Look what he says. Would God contend? That is really to strive and, 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 and you know, take up an offense against me. Mm -hmm. Contend against me with his great power? No. Surely he would give attention to me. For that, with, I mean with him, the righteous and upright could reason with him. Yeah. So if I could get God's attention and, 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 and put him on the stand and have him to explain to me, I would be acquitted forever by my judge yes. if I could just get God to see, see it my way. If I could just get him to feel what I feel. As if we don't have a high priest, the word says, that cannot be touched with the feelings of our father who doesn't sympathize with our pain and hurts. Yes, God knows. But he knows a lot more than you know. Yes, he does. So, Job makes his case. Mm -hmm. But Job has said, now this is um, Elihu in discussing with him and talking to him, and there's a conversation going on. So this is what Job said, he's actually repeating. But Job said, I, he's making his case, mm -hmm. as he appealed to the Almighty for understanding. I am righteous. And he was, as God said to the devil. Mm -hmm. There ain't nobody like my servant Job. That's, right. that's what that's God's word. Yeah. Have you seen Job? There ain't nobody in the earth like him. Yes. A righteous and upright man. So Job is right in that he is righteous. Yeah. He's, he's arguing his point. I 
am righteous. Oh, my God. But God has taken away my justice. Why would you do that to me, God? I did what you told me to do. So I lie concerning, should I lie concerning my right? Then he makes his final. My wound is incurable. You know what he's talking about there? The sickness has now reached my soul. That's what he's talking about. The wound is incurable. I've been wounded in my soul. God has let me down. I've called, he hadn't even answered. I went from rich one day to poverty the next day. Lost everything. I called to the God that always answered. He didn't even show me the courtesy of answering. Now my sickness, I hurt more in my soul than in my body. My sickness has got to the soul. Touch your neighbor and say, don't, don't let the wound get to your soul. Come on, talk, don't talk to him. Tell him you can't. Don't let the wound get to your soul. Don't let the wound. You will be wounded by some pain, but don't let it reach your soul. Can I talk to you a little bit now? Just go a little, little, little psychology here. Come on now. And if you don't address a wound that is becoming, beginning to affect the soul, that's where bitterness, anger, and then depression begins to set in. Hallelujah. It changes your whole disposition. It narrows your scope of life. It puts you in a posture back up on you. You don't want that in your soul now. That's why you got to deal with stuff before it gets into your soul. A wounded soul can be dangerous and treacherous. Now I've got to talk a little bit more here. You know what I'm to move. You got too many wounded souls in this church. And it ain't your fault because God said I send my word to heal you. Yes. So if we would preach healing and yes. prosperity, yes. we can help heal the hurt of God. Yes. 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 I don't think I'm preaching against money. I'm just putting everything in context. But today this ain't this ain't about money. It's about your soul. Yes, yes. And if you've been around me any time, you know that's my spirit anyway. I believe that if I obey God, He's gonna take care of me. And yes. Him. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. When I started fasting, I said one thing I ain't gonna never do is beg. Amen. It's a lack of faith that is beneath me. I got too much dignity yes, Lord. to stoop to the level of tricks. I ain't begging you for nothing. I will ask you, but I ain't begging. Yes, Lord. 